What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and you guys have killed the first part of this unboxing. Part 1 I think has like 15,000 views at the time of watching this and that's been my biggest video for a while since I haven't been able to upload as much the past 3 years of college and now that I'm done hopefully I can get back into the swing of things slowly but surely and you guys have helped a ton with that. Um, so if you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. I've been telling people or people have been telling me hey I'm not getting notified that you upload videos and then I am posting on my Alec Mac 111 Instagram as well um, but part one is done awesome part two I'm gonna roll now part of the giveaway for the first one so I have three hoodies that I'm giving away from that video and then two that I'm giving away five total for this unboxing video I think I should be able to fit this in the second video this might be like 25 minutes though so who knows um, but I'm going to be giving away these hoodies so I custom made these these are all this logo was custom made by my friend her and I worked a lot together on it and she did an awesome job on it and so we have it on hoodies we have a regular version of the hoodie which is really nice and then we have like a super premium version of the hoodie which is like super soft, but all of them are really nice. We have regular t-shirts, premium t-shirts. There's actually coffee mugs and some other stuff too. By the time you are watching this video, that actually should be below in the description. If it's not, it will soon in that Teespring merch shelf. So if you want to pick your stuff up, you can. And then also I ordered 200 of the Alec Mac 101 patches. And so I will be selling these soon. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it because I have all of them on person. I might have to ship them out individually, but they're really cool. The layering is really cool. The coloring is actually really cool. And so I'm super excited for this video. I am going to roll the cliff jumping edit real quick one more time because I spent a lot of time editing and it's super cool. So bam. Send it. But make sure you stick away to the end of the video. I'm giving away two more hoodies, so all you have to do is comment, follow my Instagram, either AlecMac111 or I'm Alec underscore McLean, and I will be giving those away. Thanks for the support, guys. You guys are literally awesome. If you want, add me on Modern Warfare, on Call of Duty, on Xbox. All the stuff to get in touch with me is in the link below, and I try to respond to everybody. I want to have a relationship with you guys as much as I can. I want to answer any questions or whatever. Um, I do sell some stuff personally as well, because some of this unboxing, like, I can't do all, like, look at the boxes, bro. I can't keep every single part of it myself. I already love my Polar Star enough. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Up next, an example of something that wasn't packaged great because it put a hole in this. So either USPS messed it up or he didn't package it super well. I know this gun is super heavy. Um, but I traded, this was a guy named Andrew. We traded off Hop Up, I believe. Once again, not 100% sure what I traded for. Um, I would have remembered at the time, but this is a Stoner LMG. This is one of the Knight's Armaments. I actually remember I used one of these when I was at Z-Shot 2. These were like just coming out when I was there. And this is the barrel. He packaged it decently well on the inside, but it just looks like the outside must still. I know this thing is really heavy. This thing is for sure beat. Um, it looks like it's been well loved. It does have the American Milsim Chrono sticker on here, which is pretty cool. Um, I like how he did kind of with this, this little peck box. Has a MOSFET in there, it looks like. Got one of the magazines. There's the stock and then the outer barrel. I've never gotten to play with one of these in game. Zach. Z shot Zach, uh, good old Zesty Z, ran one of these and it broke on him because he threw a 14.8 lipo in it. Um, we went up in the helicopter and so it broke, but I think he used one all day and it was really, really good quality. And I've heard good things about it. And he also threw in a VFG triple, which I love. These are my favorite pouches that run one of these on the front of my JPC. As you can tell by the different coloring, you can tell that I've worn mine a little bit more than his. As you can see, it's probably not any multi-cam anymore. So maybe I'll switch this one up. This one looks like it's a little more worn too. But this has been on my JPC for seven years and I've run this baby for about seven years now. Up next, we have the biggest and least well packaged of these. This was exactly how I received it. So my dad said he sent a picture of it. He said, I hope that there's nothing missing, but it literally came like this, was not in two parts. I think some guy in the military's wife shipped it. So I understand that it's got some like good padding in there, but this thing is a hoss and I'm sure it's probably pretty hard. I don't even know if you can break it in two pieces, but this is one of the ICS L85s. I've actually never owned one of these before. It does have a Daniel defense rail system and amplifier grip. It does look like it's a little bit worn, um, but in decent condition. The battery has kind of fallen out here, but he did say something like this rail system is a little bit harder to get into. Um, and then this kind of, this is, it looks like a nice sight on the top. I'm not sure it says it aims sports of some sort, but this Daniel Defense rail system is dope and looks really, really, really good on this gun. I have never owned these before. I remember Deathcore Airsoft was one of the guys I used to watch when I was like 13, and he did a review on one of these, and I was like, yo, 
Eventually, I would love to own one of those. So this is the first time I've ever owned a ICS L85. Yay! Don't worry, I will clean all this up later. Some people are like, oh man, you treat your packages really poorly. It's just a bunch of newspaper, bro. Like, don't get your feelings hurt. All right, up next was a pistol I traded. Um, I think this was from, yes, from Isaiah. I took this apart um, because I wasn't sure what all came with it. It didn't, he like kind of confused me in the trading, but it was a KWA USP. I traded this for a red dot. Um, it's in okay condition. He said it was kind of meh and he was right. He does have a second upper in this though. That's what I was confused on. So there's a second upper that's like a newer upper, I think. Something broke and KWA just sent him a new upper. So I think this is the older upper, but he only needed to put one part in it. So the rest of these are brand new parts, which is pretty cool. Up next is a patch I got for myself and Jared. I bought this from a guy on Hop Up. Um, from ACS Airsoft. I got this patch for Jared and this patch for me. I figured he would love this. I'll get a close up on that because it's hilarious. And then up next is actually something I bought for my real AR-15. This is a legit EOTech 552. These are heck expensive. I found this for a decent deal. Actually, a guy in Hop Up was selling it. So I was like, I really wanted to buy one for my AR-15 for a long time. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this. And I'm just going to wait until my $50 red dot breaks and then install this and then sight it in. But my red dot, the field sport red dots that I run on all my airsoft guns, has still held up after about 750 to 1,000 rounds shot out of my AR-15. And it's still working great. And it's still zeroed at about 100 yards. So I'm pretty content with it. Up next is one of the grails, as the sneaker kids call it for me. If any of you guys have ever heard of Tanaka, you will know it's an incredibly high quality brand. I did actually have to contact them because part of this came through. Um, and so part of the gun got a little scratched and one of the guns like, bam, like this is one of the things I, oof, I've had two of these before. They were gas ones. I don't think I ended up getting a third one. I think this is the third one. This is the first spring version I have ever used. And I think this thing looks gorgeous. I like the lighter woods. Both of the gas ones I had were lighter woods. Um, and I bought this off eBay. I actually thought at first it was a one of the gas ones, but it was one of the, um, I don't know if these came out afterwards, but it's one of the spring ones. I think these are newer than the gas ones. The old gas ones are really hard to find. I had one that was perfect, that worked awesome, but I had to sell it um, because I started going to college. The other one I got was not working super well, but I bought it for cheap and I sold it for pretty cheap as well. And this one, I don't know, 100%, I'm actually, actually hit this, hit the, hit the pull of the pull things. Um, should I run this at Splatter Park for an open play and play like a few full games with just this gun? I have three magazines for it. They hold, I think, 10 to 20 rounds each. I'm not 100% sure, but it shoots 280 feet per second. So yes or no on that, either comment it or like that poll. Um, I would love to run it. I don't know if I want to take it out because it is so nice. However, <laughs> I might actually do it. We're getting close to the end. I think I only have like six packages left, which is kind of sad, but also exciting. This is something I bought in one of the Airsoft open box mystery boxes. I made a video, I think it was the last video, of the open box mystery boxes are better than their actual mystery boxes. And this is an SAI shotgun. These are like like uber expensive i saw this box and i was like there's no way i got one of those the grip is actually completely stippled too and so is this i don't know if they normally come like this i don't know if evike stippled it themselves that does not look like it's it looks like it was done by someone which is dope but it's on all the grooves here and it's also on here oh my gosh and then it comes with looks like two shells these are the same birdies that came with one of the other hakatsu ones um the hakatsu one i had didn't work that great it says open box deal an airsoft sniper 400 um so this was the oh and this is also the father's day edition which i think is the other mystery box and i have the fourth of july mystery box as well but i bought all these but this is dope i'll get a close-up on how those grooves look golly that's a pretty dang good stipple job too that feels so cool. I don't have any indoor places really near me, um, or I would love this forever. I still might love this forever, honestly. I don't know if this is ever going to get traded. Like, this is sweet. It looks like it's been greased pretty well. Hopefully everything in here works well. I don't know if someone took this, used it one of the games. This is one of the cool things with the mystery open boxes, too. Like, these are probably used by dudes at Evike, and I think that's pretty cool. I don't mind that they're a little bit more used, because I got this... I think it's a pretty good deal. I don't exactly remember how much I spent on this, but this thing is worth way more than what I spent on it, and that is for sure. All right, this is from, I oh, I think I bought, this is like the EOTech, and I think I bought this other box as well. This is for my, um, I think I bought this for the PTW. 
I'm not 100% sure, but it is a EOTech and then one of the stocks. So this is a, I think this is XPS 3, this is one of the smaller EOTechs. And then in here, coming to be my favorite Airsoft stock, I have really, really started to fall in love with these. Um, this is what I think I have three of these now. I think this is my third one. I have one of my Polar Star. Um, that's kind of cool. It's a Devtron Scope Coat Protective Scope. That's kind of cool. I don't know I was getting that. And then in here, oh, this is the battery for it. Cool. So that's one of the batteries. I don't know if it only runs. Oh, it looks like it only runs off one. So this is one of the smaller EOTechs. I actually really like these. I think these look amazing. Well, I filmed for like 30 minutes, and so my camera died. But like I said, with this, got these in the trade. Um, this is super cool. It's one of the smaller ones. But let's get on to the next package. All right, this is from a guy named Joel. I've traded with this guy a few times. Um, oh, this is, I can't, like I said, can't remember 100% what I traded this for again, but I think this is the SR7. Ooh. Yo, this thing's actually in. Does he still have the sticker on it? Yo, this thing still has the sticker on it, like one of the Kitty Bee stickers. This is an old gun. This is actually one of the guns I traded for, probably one of the first guns I ever traded for. These Kitty Bay uh, came for SR7s, SR10, SR12s. When they came out when I was like 15, were literally the best guns in the market. Kids would get these, they'd drop like 300 on them, or their parents would buy them for them, and they literally shot like 25 rounds per second with 11.1 out of the box. And at that time in Airsoft, they were like, oh my gosh, everybody in the backyard Airsoft games was like, yo, if you have a KDBA, you were like, you were like a legend. And these guns are really, really, really solid. And this is in great shape. Up next might be what I'm more excited about. This is, I don't actually know what brand this is, but he showed me a picture of this. And this is literally my favorite version of the MP5K. I can't remember if this is, I think this is an older one. I don't know if it's like an Echo 1. I feel like Echo 1 brands their stuff. It might be like a JG. It does feel really cheap up front, but <laughs> look at how cool these things are. I just love this little style. If I were to ever buy a real MP5, they're one heck expensive. HA stuff is very, very expensive, but awesome. Um, this is like the style of the gun. I remember I used to run a Springer one of these. And I thought I was sweet just walking around shooting like a whole 150 feet per second. This is when I was like 13, probably one of these. Got it from Meyer. like I can tell you what it is. But this one seems like a pretty decent replica. The lower feels really good, it's just the upper is a little bit shaky. But good trading. All right, up next is a guy, Jace. I actually trade with this guy pretty frequently. It's like the second or third time we've traded. I do remember what I traded this for. This was a VFC 416. Um, I traded a really nice VFC 416 for this, and then he gave me some cash on top. This is one of the, I think this is, yeah, the Knight's Armament uh, Flash Hider Suppressor combos, which will come with one of the uppers. So I got another upper for my Polar Star. These are the uppers for this. So the first one is a, I don't actually know what upper, I don't even know if he knows what upper this is. This rail system on this is super dope, though. Um, it is kind of off-center a little bit. Um, but I, he doesn't even have any like branding on this rail system. I'm not sure what upper this is. And again, like I said, but this is the main reason I traded for it. This is a another Crytac upper with a Daniel Defense Mark 18 rail system. I do love these. Uh, everyone's like, oh, I get a Daniel Defense Mark 18, look like GMR. I do like these rail systems. I wouldn't say these are my favorite mil rail systems. Like a lot of mill summers, I like the T-Rex rail. It's obvious to do what I have another one. I will probably leave this on here because one, I don't want to spend another ton of money on a rail system. And two, I do really like these rail systems. Um, I love the T-Rex rail system. I love the one that I'm going to put my System. I guess that's a real JP one. Um, I love some of the tubular rail systems. I really like a lot of different rail systems, but this is a nice one. And then he also threw in a SWR MFG suppressor as well. I don't know what, like, if these are clockwise, counterclockwise, but this is one of the VFC one, or not the VFC, the Knights Armament ones. And these are really nice. I remember when Z Shot first came out with these again. This was like six years ago. They were talking about this, and these are super sweet. And so that goes on right like that. And that fits on really well in a lock and it looks cool. I might actually throw this on my system depending on how stuff goes. That American BTW at the beginning. All right, we got two packages left and these are the mystery boxes. I can't remember exactly which one this is. This is the, I think this is the Father's Day one. And then the other one's the 4th of July one. Came with some stickers. Here is the magazine <laughs> that I got for the earlier one for the, for the other pistol for the VFC um the fnx or whatever fnx this is it's getting a little dark out so the mosquitoes are attacking me um but this is the actual mag so i have two now and then this looks like some sort of matrix pistol Ooh, not bad for a little side thing this is the matrix i don't know if these are oem we or kjw this is oem uh high kappa it does feel pretty cheap but it's a normal high kappa it does not have any trademarks at all so I'm guessing this is like a WE. It might be a little bit cheaper than WE. I know WEs are like the really affordable, like cheaper versions of most pistols. 
but I really like this tan. I think it looks good. And up next, I saw a box that looks pretty good. I have heard about these, another one of the sticker things. I've heard about these Falcor Defense. So you can see there, Falcor Defense is, I think these are GMP OEM. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're GMP OEM. And this looks good. So there is the top of the box. Ooh, that's making me think GMP once again. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is actually kind of dope. Comes with like a high cap there. But this thing looks sweet. I have never seen these. I saw these when they came out on eBike's website. But here's the M-Lock rail system on it. It's the super sleek silver. Got the Falcor Defense trades there. Nice Ambi Selector RS2 stock. I like that a lot. The grip feels a little bit cheap compared to the rest of the gun. It's like a standard Tango Down style grip, but this is dope. It's got the M-Lock trades even there, Falcor Defense on the rail. I don't know what kind of mounting system this is for the rail, but this is nice. Nice charging handle as well. I think these retail for like 250 ish with the pistol. That's not like one of the grand prizes or anything, but maybe I gotta talk a little bit more trash about the mystery boxes because I was like, eh, I don't know. I haven't been getting super good mystery boxes, but this was one of the best ones I've gotten in a long time. I don't think they're quite as good as the open boxes still because we picked up that SAI shotgun and that is, mm. But this is actually really nice. All right, and this one I think is the Father's Day one, or maybe that one was the Father's Day one, and this was the other one, the 4th of July one. I think that was the 4th of July one, and this is the Father's Day special one. But this looks pretty nice. This is a, I believe, this is KWC, these little uh, Desert Eagles. I've had a few of these. I really, really like the old TM ones. Dude, the old TM ones are so nice. I've had two of these. I've actually got two of these from e-bike before. Um, they're pretty decent. They're KWCs, I believe is the OEM, like Cybergun KWC. Um, they don't shoot amazing, but I think they do have full auto on them, which is pretty cool. Um, they are CO2, mag is massive. Just the build quality, you can definitely tell is a lot less than like a TM gun. But this is a pretty good starter pistol for the box. <laughs> also in this is a toy gun. Toys. So, yo, if you guys want to see, if this video gets, what we say, like a thousand likes, probably a lot for my video. This video gets a thousand likes, Sure Shot Midget and I will play 1v1 with these Springers. We'll whip these out, we'll play one in the chamber in the backyard or something. We'll use like these and then Nerf Wars or a comment below in the description if you want to see that. We'll like, that'd be sweet, man. You could block it with like the Nerf Swords. You probably shoot like 100 feet per second. We used to use these guns. We actually used to get these um, and do those kind of things. We'd be like $4 pistols off Amazon and they'd break after 100 shots. But they were a lot of fun when our friends would play in the woods. So, Maybe we'll go back to it. Thousand likes. That would actually be super fun. Uh, up next is a King Arms gun. King Arms stuff isn't. Ooh, PDW 9mm SBR Shorty. King Arms stuff is like hit or miss. USA version. I don't know what that means exactly. Oh, it actually looks kind of cool. So this is another one, probably one of those normal guns that's in a mystery box. It comes with the MP5 Max. So it looks like it's a M4 MP5 PDW conversion kind of thing. Externals feel a little bit cheap, not gonna lie. Um, orange tip there. The stock actually looks pretty cool. I like how that slides out. It's kind of like a push slide out thing. It feels, I mean, like decently solid. The lower feels decently solid. The upper does feel really cheap. The lines, you can definitely tell, isn't the highest build quality, but this is probably like $130, $180 gun somewhere in that range. It feels and looks like pretty cool. I mean, internals matter a lot. The externals, as far as features go, like I kind of like that bolt catch does not function. But it looks pretty cool. Selector switch is interesting, only one-sided. But I do like that pretty much. I think that might be everything. I lied. There was one more gun that I did not do a video on. This was one of the ones that was standing up. This is a... I don't know how I forgot about this because this is gorgeous. This is a Tokyo Marui M40A5. This is one of the OD versions. I traded a guy on hop-up for this for my old gas shell ejecting shotgun. It is in decent condition. It doesn't work like the perfect, um, the most perfect, but it is really cool. It only shoots like 300 feet per second too because it's a TM, but it shoots really laser accurate for those. And it's got the front rail system. It's got this really cool flash rider on there. And the gun is super cool. And I love this. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Feels absolutely gorgeous. This is probably going to be like a 40 minute video. I might break this into two parts. 